Moving on to subtractive texture. All right, so I've got a pinch pot that I made a couple days ago. I wrapped it up in plastic, but I left a little air in the bag so that it is now um, not quite leather hard, but it's definitely a lot wibbly wobbly. Like I just made this one, it's, I could do the hula dance with this. This one, if I put a little pressure on it, it's not gonna go anywhere. And that's gonna make the carving or the subtractive texture much easier. For subtractive texture, I want you to choose a loop tool, okay? So something that has a wire that comes out and comes back and reattaches. And there are various shapes in your bucket. I do not want you using the needle tool. If I were to just do some texture like that, the problem is it's gonna be so thin and so difficult to see that the glaze is probably just gonna cover that right up, okay? So instead, I'm gonna it also, I haven't really taken any clay away. It's called subtractive texture for a reason. We want to get rid of some clay. All right. Now, I call these boogers. You see these boogers? Wait until the clay is a little drier, and then you'll be able to brush those away. If you try and go do it now while it's still kind of soft, a lot of times you end up just smashing the boogers into your texture, like, oh, I can't get rid of that now. It's in there. And I have to go back, clean it up. Whereas if I wait till this is kind of crumbly, you know, just like a booger dries out and it's crumbly instead of sticky, then it's gonna be much, much easier. So I've just done some stripes. Whoa. But it'd be great if you would be a little more inventive about your subtractive texture. You might even want to take one of the pinch spots that you don't like very much and just play with different ways. Let's see, let's go with this one. Maybe even set it upside down so I've got a little, I'm not squishing it while I'm working on it. Maybe I'll make like a brain texture here. It's not looking very brainy, but I am kind of enjoying the pattern that I'm creating. Okay, so again, texture, something that you can feel. If I just kind of draw a little line, a little polka dot, it's not very tactile. I can't feel much going on, but when I run my fingers across this, it's good. All right, 